sustain the quiet that you have just maintained in the past few seconds. We are all very, very overwhelmed and overjoyed. But that should never take away the discipline known for I beg you, on behalf of our guests, special guests, who's my dear wife, And in deep appreciation of the great governor and first lady that God has given to our state, let us overwhelm the joy of the evening by controlling our emotions. If you look at the program, I was not supposed to make any speech or play any role. But my dear wife has yielded the floor to me on behalf of the family to thank all of you, our very, very special friends. And I will begin with the great gift God has given to the state, our government. My wife and I we are watching Liverpool versus one of those teams they eliminated. And our daughter Justice Chinelo walked in and said, Honorable Mrs. Aguma, phone to say they were coming to the house to brief us. And that they've just risen from council meeting and we are heading to our home. And I said to Mary, I said, what kind of military operation is this? No appointments, no arrangements, and you just call to say you are coming. When they arrived, 12 minutes after that call, members of the State of the Council of River State, five of them had been directed by our indefatigable governor to come and sit with us and work out the program for the retirement of Mary from the Supreme Court. That's what gave birth to what we've been seeing since last Thursday. And this entire program 
starting from that day with the high point at the Supreme Court session to everything that has culminated to this point. Every bit of it was the directive of our executive governor and every cost of it has been written off by the River State Executive Council under the leadership of our government. How can we describe this governor? What word will aptly capture his person, his heart, his capacity, his inexhaustible tirelessness? The chairman of the book presentation today, I call him the great orator of our generation. I wish he could lend me some words to describe this governor because I can't find any. Mr. Governor, Only God can pay you back. The way you honor Mary and I the histories you delve into with all that runs through your head how you remember such minute Forgotten details amazes me. Some of the stories you told about the stout and so on this evening, I had long forgotten. But I'm sure your dear wife is contributory to all that. If you see a man who, if you see a man who's raising his shoulders, look behind, you will see the prompter of those feelings that men have when they think they've done very well. Is the woman behind pushing and nudging, suggesting, counseling, and guiding. That's the way God designed it. So we thank you. But because I have this opportunity, it would be unfair not to let you know how this whole thing started. The Mary and Peter life. 50 years ago, the University of Nigeria, Enugu campus, after the war, one classroom will be for all the departments, irrespective of your discipline. In what used to be, in our days, the physiology laboratory. I was alone reading there, waiting to be among the last 11 for lunch. And three young girls giggled in. <laughs> and they came in to colonize seats and then go for their own lunch. I looked up and I cited Mary, and she took my heart from there.
When they left their books, I carefully watched where she dropped her own, copied her names, and stored her name for the next three and a half years. The opportunity for us to talk never presented that I kept her name. And the day she made reference to a party she didn't want to attend. It was a birthday party for one of the students. And her roommate happened to have been the girlfriend of one of my schoolmates in CKC. And I have this old jalopy, which, if you read Conscience and History, you will know the history of that jalopy. So Barrister Lumona now, that's his name, he's a Lagos lawyer, said, Pete, please, can you help dro drop me and my girlfriend and her roommate at the party somewhere? That's OK. I didn't know that that was God's destined time for me and Mary to eyeball to eyeball meet for the first time. And as God would have it, we met, got introduced. I said, but I know your name. She was taken aback. But what caught me the first day I saw her, caught her the first time she saw me. <laughs> Fifty years after, nothing has changed. God has been gracious to us. We've never had any occasion that warranted either our children, our relations, our friends, or anybody to come and settle anything between us this past 45 years. So listening to all the encomia that had been showered on her, all I kept saying in my heart was, the good Lord, you are good indeed. Because as you may have heard from her valedictory speech at the Supreme Court on Thursday, Ovia Whiskey swore her in as a magistrate grade three because she was less than two years post-call. But Ovia Whiskey said to me, when he saw how afro my hair was, he said, young man, you don't know what you're letting yourself into. 
No more discos, no more careless friends. And, uh, he read out the code of conduct for spouses of judicial officers. I say, sir, just let her walk according to her conscience and I will play my own part. My statement seemed to have touched him. And so after the brief ceremony, as we were leaving his office, he followed us and stayed at the balcony to watch us leave the premises of the Benin High Court. Since she became a judicial officer, in the effort to keep my promise to Vie Whiskey, I have never gone to her to say, my relation, my friend, my that or that has a matter in your court. And I will cite just two examples. My hospital, our hospital, is located in some part of the governor's local government called Rumumasi. And they had a traditional ruler who had land issues as usual. And then she was chief magistrate in Elimbu. And it appeared that in some of the series of matters, I'm not sure the governor was uh, involved in any of them, but he kept losing cases in Mary's court. And because that traditional ruler was an ex-University of Nigeria graduate, an engineer, he's late now, Occasionally, he will pop in and will chat. And Gulda Bia was very, very friendly with him. So one day, he came in. He said, Doctor, I have come. I say, Your Highness, you're very welcome. And I did the usual. I called one of my then peers to arrange Gulda. And traditionally, I said, No, that he didn't come for Gulda today, that he's come to complain that he has been losing cases in my wife's court and he investigated and he found out that my wife and a former chief judge of the state who was then a practicing lawyer that they were classmates in the university and that the other side that has been winning that that has been the reason why his own side has been losing. I said to him, Your Highness, if you've been losing, it means you didn't deserve to win. But what I can do for you is to ask you to go and look for the best lawyer 
the most expensive and the best and go on appeal. I will pay the bill for you. He sat up and said, you say you will give me money to hire a lawyer to go on appeal? That means you trust her to that extent? I say yes. I say okay. If that is so, bring that gold. I will drink it now. My mind has come down. The second example. Some folks from my village, in fact from my extended family, had some matter in her court. And they came to me very happy that their case has been taken to our wife's court. <laughs> so it's as good as one. I say no that I don't talk to her about cases. You see, I'm a doctor. Here, I treat people. In the court, I don't know what they do. What I will do for you is I will give you money, go and look for a good lawyer who will go and defend your case and make you win. I thought that was a good way to fulfill the promise I made to your whiskey. That if they allow him, allow her, I don't know, you see, this is the problem with they calling themselves brothers. You had Justice Rose Bible, he came there and referred to my wife as his brother. And I know, I know very clearly that I am not a member of same-sex business. When I finished being governor and went to Abuja to spend time with her and a lot of political cases as you know were rolling over each other. All my friends in Abuja know and they tell each other the moment you have a case either the Court of Appeal when she was there or the Supreme Court. The access you used to have to come as a personal friend ceases until the case is over. And so Listening to the kind words that her colleagues, her superiors, and those after her and her contemporaries have paid, my heart is full of joy. It is God and God alone. With the support of those of you who God has used to get her to the point of the 12th of May, 2022, when she bowed out from the bench. To God be the glory. I can only thank all of you who have, in one way or the other, supported her on this journey. Permit me, you know I'm getting old, I'm in my 70s, uh, co-easy like Bode will say. I may not remember you chronologically. 
But I know that Justice Adeke, Justice Galadima, I think my friend Justice Rose Viver, and somebody else who's now also retired, Justice Salami, were what do you call them nominators or you know the people who nominate you as the governor is uh, looking for delegates <laughs> those people who signed your form i want to use this occasion to thank you and i'm delighted that out of the four of them that nominated her Three are here. But all of you who have worked with her, who she met, we thank God. We thank God for his graciousness. Where do I start? Where do I stop? The night is far spent. Almighty God, who sees the heart and who also sees the end from the beginning, we meet each and every one of you at your point of need. Just remain truly faithful to Him. The Pitodini family. We remain a living testament to God's words. Trust God. Trust God. And He will answer you. Amen. Your Excellency, Mr. Governor, there are so many things to thank you for. I know looking for delegates. I've been dealing with you in terms of your energy. And unfortunately for you, you have an in law in the governor of your state who's still full of. Well, we can't thank you enough. You have been an exemplary governor. Dr. Sekibo and his colleagues who worked with me and who have refused to drop the title to Golden Governor. Here is the Golden Governor, our own Golden Governor. This is the Golden Governor. Extraordinary Governor. A man who has so much capacity and attention to details. May God sustain you Amen. and answer your prayers Amen. and give you in your own way and in your own time what God has destined for you no man can take away. This afternoon, when Mary was responding to the wonderful occasion that the state put together for her, she tried to drag me into it. She hid one element of how our bonding started. One small element. I used to be a good, I know you want to hear footballer, <laughs> but uh, I 
I used to serenade. And I remember one tune that Elvis Presley rendered which some major aspects of it reflects how I felt about Mary. When I first saw you with your smile so tender my heart was captured my soul surrendered I spent a lifetime waiting for the right time now that you're here the time is here at last it's now or never come hold me tight Kiss me, my darling, be mine tonight. Tomorrow may be too late. It's now or never. My love won't wait. I thank you for your attention. Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.